Hello friends, this is Gagan here and in this video I'm going to tell you how to test mileage of your car or how to test average of your car, fuel economy, whatever you would like to call it. There is nothing, no hard and fast rule about this that this is only method you should test or something like that or the fuel consumption reading displayed on your instrument cluster is correct. No, that's not the case. Remember the fuel consumption reading on your uh, instrument console if it is present it's only for the indicative purposes it's not accurate at all or maybe not accurate always it might get accurate sometimes but not always so do not believe in that and though the most of the premium cars DJs have the fuel consumption reading my i20 is not having even I anyways anyways i20 is still a premium car so though the most of the premium cars having the still a few cars do not get the fuel consumption reading so how do you guys test the mileage or the average of your car i will tell you two steps two different steps to do that and you can choose upon uh, your need which one you might want to go with the first one which i'll tell you is will be based on the mixed uses of uh, complete fuel tank like for a long distance like 500 kilometers or something like that or uh, second one will be for the short distances if you want to test a particular specific route or a particular driver or something like that so it's for that second one will be for that so let's start with the first one the first one method is fuel tank method full fuel to fuel full tank method so what you need to do in this uh, go to the any any fuel station ask him to fill the tank completely okay so how do you fill the tank completely is not when the, uh, he insert the, the fuel fuel pump guy insert that nozzle in and start and it automatic gets shut off do not believe that it's complete there that shut off only happens when the petrol touches back on the nozzle so uh, you need to ask him to fill again and i'll show you image right now till this neck point you need to ask the guy to fill okay it might take a few more uh, few more times or few more uh, times he need to do it manually again and again it might get off again and again the nozzle get uh, touches with fuel so do not worry about that ask him to fill till the neck till the time you see the petrol is there and it's not going down back okay there is a reverse pipe or reserve pipe i don't know the name it petrol goes into that no problem let it go ask him to fill till the neck okay when it's done Turn off the uh, turn off the lid and turn the uh, trip meter to zero. Okay, start drive as you like. Okay, because this one this method is for full tank method. If you need to test f uh, mileage of full tank, like for all your uses, so drive as you wish, uh, as ever you wish. Okay, go on highway or go on your daily uh, duties and do whatever. And when it's time comes, when the, the tank gets empty after a few days or after uh, no matter how many kilometers you have done, after when it shows that now the tank is going to be empty, hit back, try to hit back to the same fuel pump and the same filling machine uh, on the fuel station. And if not possible, that's not hard and fast rule, uh, but try to do that and ask him to fill it again, fill, uh, fill the fuel again till that neck point again. Okay. Once you are done, check out your trip meter how many kilometers you have done then check out how many liters fuel you have refueled right now okay so for an instant my i20 uh, for when first i tested um, I, I, my i20 did 500 kilometers and when i uh, refueled i uh, there was a total 40 liters fuel i filled the 40 liters fuel inside the car uh, so the average was 12.5 liter 5 kilometer per liter okay so this way I tested it completely. I did it twice. So I get accurate results because I had to tell you people uh, that what a mileage I'm getting. So I need to be more accurate. Okay. But again, it came uh, nearby the, uh, the 12.6 or something like that. So the 12.5 is uh, the average I got in mixed conditions. Okay. I was driving in Jaipur by the way that time. So this is the first method. Second method. The second method will be more useful to the people who do not drive their car much, but still want to test out the average. And for those who want to test average in certain conditions like on certain roads on highways or on a few kilometer journey on highways or for someone different drivers yeah the different drivers matters i will tell you in my video uh, which i will make now about the how to increase your mileage i will tell you in that how different drivers can get different fuel readings from the same engine and same car in such situation if you want to test for short distances the second one method will be okay for you so now how to do the second method Second method is almost the same. A few more precautions you need to keep here, which I'll tell you. First, ask your fuel pump guy or fuel station guy and the, uh, a good, uh, take a good 
fuel station reputed one go to it fill till the neck as i already told you fill till the neck and fill again and again uh, if you see petrol going down automatically fill uh, till the till the point okay now set the trip meter to zero do a drive uh, on the place you want like on certain road or certain uh, highway or do whatever you want to test mileage on come back to the same fuel station remember you should park your car in the exact same mode or exact same place where you did previously while refueling okay and you should have be uh, uh, you should be having same number of passenger and same quantity of load in your car if uh, that, uh, that was there when you refueled the previous time okay there should be no change in uh, parking fashion so uh, not all the fuel station are on the even surface there are some uneven surfaces so you might not even notice and your fuel tank might be taking a uh, half a liter half a liter extra or half a liter uh, less so please park in the same fashion please be at the same load the car should have so same load same passengers okay now fill again till that point okay fill again the same point you free fuel just uh, if a uh, few kilometers back now ch check out your trip meter uh, whatever you had and for that for example i once tested it and i did 78 kilometers and i came back to same fuel station same fuel guy and the same fuel machine i asked him to refill and he fueled 5.77 liters uh, the 5.77 liters i petrol i refilled again so technically uh, my car ran 78 kilometers in 5.77 liters of fuel that means i got an average of 13.5 somewhere okay so this trip was on a village road and uh, which was a good road but uh, with very less traffic so i got 13.5 a return of 13 13.5 kilometer per liter that time okay so this way you get perfect mileage for your car uh, perfect how you can calculate perfectly again i say do not trust the instrument cluster uh, completely and for the cars which do not have instrument cluster you have this a good thing well the instrument cluster is very very um, helpful when you want to know the distance to empty okay when your fuel is going to empty how much fuel is remaining but do not trust it completely also do not trust the fuel gauge okay the fuel gauge is not uh, there there are in some cars there are bar like in hyundai there are 12 bars complete fuel this doesn't mean that you can divide the fuel capacity that is 45 liter by 12 and you will get one liter uh, is for like some three point something like that no that doesn't happen the first first fuel uh, line or the first fuel one is very hard to move that because your fuel quantity uh, fuel tank quantity might be 45 liter the, but the first and it will only get start when it's on the 40 liter or something like that so do not trust that uh, this uh, these two methods you can try these are the most perfect methods you can do okay if you have any more doubt and uh, you can ask in the comment section below and i am going to make one more video regarding how, how to increase your mileage this will be helpful for many of you guys because they are asking again and again for the people uh, especially who are keeping i20 they are asking the mileage is very low how we can increase that or something like that so this the video which i'm going to make might get helpful for you guys i'll post the, the link here till then take care and bye, -bye.